Serena here from Make Plant Create. This is the fourth video installment of our Spring Garden Series 2019. I thought I'd do something a little different with y'all today. Instead of just walking through the garden and taking a look and seeing how things have grown, I thought I would just bring you guys along and uh, show you guys what I do as my daily routine. I haven't stepped in the, into the garden yet today, so I'm not sure how things are looking. We had a pretty good rain last night, so I'm pretty sure everything's gonna be pretty perky and happy. But anyways, let's go on ahead and take a look see how things are coming along oh, thank you. you're welcome everything's looking pretty lush and nice out here um, I brought this basil plant that has been living inside all of its life and I'm going to plant it here somewhere I think it needs to go in right there so last week these tomato plants were pretty full and getting pretty bushy so I actually trimmed back a lot of foliage that was really too much on them. Um, usually this is kind of like the first thing that I inspect. I make sure to go through each of my tomato plants and just grab any suckers so like you know you can see right here there's a little sucker that's growing so I'll go on ahead and pinch that off and these things can get really wild and out of control like I said I pulled back quite a few of these suckers earlier this week I saw in a video that Callie Kim did that she actually saved a lot of her plant trimmings and suckers and put them in bottles of water and just replanted them so I saved quite a few of the trimmings that I had these right here are looking a little bit better than these I haven't decided exactly where to put these but I have them saved to be able to use to create new plants so back onto the original task at hand pruning back these tomato plants So this row of tomatoes is looking really good. I actually added these little trellises. Um, some little supports coming from the bottom of the pergola down to help the plant stand up straight. I think I did all of that whenever I was doing all the pruning that I did the other day. So um, other than that, I think things are coming along really well on these guys checking on the squash plant <laughs> look how big this thing has gotten this thing is like tripled in size and the other one that was growing next to it that I transplanted over here is definitely doing really really well um, speaking on the squash I actually took one of the plants that was the acorn squash this bigger one here that's the acorn squash um, these are the spaghetti squash that I planted there because I didn't realize that the acorn squash was growing at the time that I did that that was about two weeks ago instead of just cutting back the other acorn squash I what you doing there Eli oh playing with rainwater I moved this one over here to this corner. The root vegetables look like they are coming along nicely. You can see some radishes peeking their little shoulders out. Right down in there. That one's getting pretty big. And I did notice on the cucumbers that we've got quite a few pickles coming along these I just watched a video on pruning eggplant which I wasn't sure about last last time I did a video these are like the tomatoes anytime you see new growth growing in one of the armpits kind of like that little thing that's starting to grow right there that that should be removed so like here this tomatoes got a sucker coming in that's a pretty good sized sucker right here I'll get that one out here's a really big one here Pop 
that out. Pop that one out. Um, but like I was saying, when I came across the video that I was watching about uh, pruning the eggplant, they were talking about pruning cucumbers as well. And um, I don't see that I have a lot of vining coming. I don't know. I think like technically I can pull that out because that would create a new vine. So. No. Baby. Are you okay? I'm trying to get them in the out. I can't. Okay, so on back to seeing how things are coming along over here. Um, look at those pickles. That one is probably good enough to pick. Um, I've picked already about four or five that are that were a little bit smaller than this one. Maybe one was bigger and then the others were a little bit smaller and until these actually really start to grow and I can pull off a big harvest. I haven't been pickling these on my own. So until I get a big harvest of pickles that I'll pickle myself, um, when I pick something like this, just kind of here and there, I actually just throw these into pickle jars that I've had from the store. <laughs> and they're pretty good. You just give it a wash, toss it in the old pickle jar, and you got some pickles in a couple of days. Something ate all my dill. I don't know what got to it, but uh, the other day, whoops, the other day when I was out here, this plant was nice and bushy like this one. Okay, crazy. So I'm gonna go grab my scissors and cut that back. Um, the cilantro looks good. Um, I did a pretty good trimming on this guy the other day when I made some tacos. So, like I was saying the last time, I find that these herbs are a lot happier whenever they are trimmed back. So, all of this I will actually add to my compost bin. Well, on second thought, um, I'm actually going to give these to the chickens. Um, we're gonna have to do something about this door. When our pig escaped, he really, really did a number on it. Hello, chicky, 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 chicky. I'm gonna come over to this excess compost that I have over here. Toss in that dill that I just trimmed back in there. And I keep this coffee pot. Um, I keep this coffee pot here on my countertop. Um, that I put compost in. I'm gonna throw this in the excess compost because my composter ball is pretty full. So I'm just gonna toss that in here for them. And last night we had corn on the cob. So those that's what's in this bag. The chicken coop is here and they have a nesting box right back there that's attached to it. But um, they have been laying in this box here since I added it to the chicken tractor a few months ago. We'll see if there's any eggs in there. It got wet from the rain, but they still laid in there. Okay, I grabbed the base of that kitty litter box so that I could change out their pine shavings that were in there. So that's there. This is where I keep the pine shavings over here underneath the coop. And as part of my routine, I don't do this daily, but I do it at least weekly. I just keep a little bucket here with this scoop and I have pretty easy access being able to scoop up all of this chicken poop and I just put this down here and pretty much just scoop that in so I just scoop that in here and 
toss that into the compost bin. Pretty easy little system that I have. And these birds are pretty freaking nasty. So that is why I have the pine shavings just under here. So then I can just grab some pine shavings and add them in. I'll go ahead and do that over here to this nesting box as well. Okay, I am really starting to sweat now, y'all. I am really starting to sweat now, y'all. Um, but this is pretty much what I do on a daily basis. Um, aside from putting on this pretty dress for you guys today, this is pretty much what I do every day. <laughs> Back to the garden. I was inspecting these herbs and saw that the dill had gotten eaten up by something. But look at this up here. We've got some sprouts. I know that says thyme, but this is actually parsley. I got that cute little rock for a dollar at Target. Um, but yeah, look, we got sprouts, 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 sprouts. Wait, that's not a sprout. So that is coming along. And speaking of herbs, I'm going to put this basil in the ground right here. That's the seat from one of these chairs that I have that I use as a little knee pad. Okay, so all of these little things that are growing right here, these are actually weeds. So I'm just going to kind of clear up this little area and rake it up a little and dig out a little hole for this basil. Now, like I mentioned earlier, this basil has lived its entire life indoors. So I'm hoping that by adding it to the garden right now, it won't go into shock too bad. We'll see what happens. I'm gonna kinda tease these roots out a little bit because I want that to go down in there. There we go that little basil planted. All right, so we'll keep an eye on this little guy, see how he's growing. Everything looks like it is growing and coming along quite beautifully so far. These beans are really taking off. They've already reached the trellis. They're kind of getting twisted. I've never grown beans, so I don't really know exactly what I'm doing. The only other thing I was thinking I wanted to take a look at was this pepper plant. It looks like it needs a cage. And these honeydew melon are coming along. That cucumber melon that I put here, I actually think that this is it right here. Okay. Man, with that heavy rain, these weeds are just popping right out. Um, anyways, I had replanted the cucumelon, and I think I may have actually weeded them out, thinking they were weeds, the first time I planted them. So the second time, oh yeah, that's definitely a melon. Look at that. Look at that tiny little tendril. Um, I think I was expecting their leaves to look a little more like zucchini and squash and melons but I feel like they look a little bit more like uh, cucumbers so all right yeah that's definitely the cucumber melons right there I am going to just pull a lot of this grass out As I was weeding this little section right here, there's the other little honeydew melon that I planted. 
is getting lost in the weeds. So I might try to transplant this. I don't know. It's still got its little seed pod on there hanging on. I planted it at the same time as this one. So it's growing a little bit slower. All right, that's good for now. I think that's enough for today. Um, look how sweaty I am. Always know that I've done a good job in the garden if I walk away with, with really dirty hands. Um, anyways, thanks for coming along with us and taking a look, seeing how things are coming along and growing in the garden. Um, like I said, this is the fourth installment of our Spring Garden Series 2019, one month after we've actually planted the garden. <laughs> thanks for coming along with us.